All right, before we put any uh, manifolds, exhaust or in intake manifold on, we need to put all our accessory stuff on. First thing we're going to put, we're going to take this hose, slip it down, and put it back on to this pipe which sits behind the thermostat on the head. Okay, one little hint or tip, uh, when you go to put this hose on, make sure you position the clamp that you have to squeeze if you're not going to replace it with a, a regular hose clamp with a screw. Um, position it so you can reach it coming in this way. Because I had mine positioned facing in behind the man intake manifold and it was very hard just to get it swung around so I could grab at it. Uh, the next thing we're going to put on back inside there there's two metal hoses lines these here that come out they go in and they're welded onto a bracket there's a little 10 millimeter bolt right and we have to use a long extension and we'll put that in uh, let me see if that actually has a, a torque to it and if it does I'll let you know what it is it is a 10 millimeter bolt okay that component they do not list a torque so just gonna get it good and snug uh, just remember you are going into an aluminum head so don't go crazy I'm probably going to put some uh, blue Loctite. Alright, next component we're going to put on is the uh, camshaft position sensor. This piece here. Went and got a new O-ring for it. The other one was uh, had a lot of heat wear and stuff, so put us a new one. The four bolts torque down to 85 inch pounds or 10 newton meters and uh, of course this is going to go right over here 10 no it's uh, 8 millimeter bolts on this one all right next piece we're going to do is the exhaust manifold and it says to coat the exhaust manifold bolts with some anti-seize compounds so I picked some up I thought I had some uh, this just makes it so that uh, it, the pieces, when they get hot and stuff, won't lock up in there. You can take them out again later when you need to. They just It's like a paste that has uh, bits of metal. This has copper in it. There's a little brush in here. Just rub a little bit on there. I'm going to get two of them ready because uh, I'm going to put the head gasket or the, uh, the gasket for the exhaust manifold to the head and I want to have two of these ready so that I can uh, hold the manifold in place this is the gasket we'll be using right here and then these these bolts uh, they get torque down to 200 inch pounds or 23 newton meters and it says to do it in stages from the center out so probably start here like at the lowest setting 14 and then work my way out alternating then I'll go up to like uh, 20 work my way out start in the middle and then go to 28 do it like that uh, working around the back here the back of the engine I'm gonna have to use a mirror to kind of see what I'm doing here you know see where everything lines up I can get I can get on the side of the engine over here a little bit and do some stuff but uh, I'll have to use the tool to uh, help me out a little bit here maybe a little bit difficult all right I just realized on the ends of this gasket it has two little hooks so what I'm going to do is hold the exhaust manifold up put the two end ones in just to hold the manifold in place then I should be able to slip this gasket down and then put my um, other bolts in and it'll hold everything in place I don't risk damaging this or scratching it up or anything so uh, I'm going to put the two end bolts in position that in place and then uh, see if this will slip down in there all right I've got the bolts in you can see I've got a gap 
kind of tapers though the way the engine's sitting in here so uh, I'm going to carefully slide that gasket in here and then uh, I'll anti-seize the rest of my bolts and slowly start uh, putting them all in. We have the exhaust manifold torqued down. Uh, we need to put this sensor back on. It goes on this bolt and it is a 13 millimeter. I'm putting this on uh, and then I'm going to put the valve cover on. I'll show you how to put the change the gasket on that. Ugh. Mosquitoes got stirred up. My daughter mowed the yard so that's a new aggravation. Now we're going to put the heat shield back on. That hole right there. The bolt back here of the head on the passenger side that comes out we put this there tighten it down and then our screws for the bolt here here and over here right there and it'll attach securely there I was mistaken it is not the corner bolt I had the other bolt in my uh, my bag of parts there's another spot right here where this goes. See, right there. That's where it goes. And that is a uh, that is a 13 millimeter bolt. And the book says that the heat shield bolts are what was it? 95 inch pounds or 10 newton meters.